Hello everyone, do you want to learn how to do this? Welcome or welcome back to Cooking with Frenchy. Cooking and baking made easy. This is my YouTube channel and uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the vanilla butter cream icing. This is a butter cream icing recipe that you are going to see soon. It's uh, made just with butter, sugar icing, a bit of vanilla, a bit of milk to soften that product. I use this filling, you know, uh, butter cream icing, inside cakes sometimes, but mostly around the cake. So this is the part three of my uh, uh, naked cake styles and I'm going to show you and we're getting towards the end of it. Uh, the next uh, recipe or the next video will be to show you how to uh, build the cake together, how to really finish it with a slight a bit of buttercream around and uh, having a bit of decoration with that buttercream icing. So stay tuned. But before we go to the recipe, if you like this page, don't forget to subscribe and change your little bell settings to have all our notifications and all the recipes available on your screen. So let's cook a storm in your kitchen. For this recipe, I'm using 250 grams of oscillated butter, also 500 grams of pure icing, 5 ml of vanilla essence and 60 ml of milk. In a bowl, just put your butter with the spade and uh, work it for about two minutes to make it very, very soft. Then add the entire icing sugar. Just mix it for another minute or two. Make sure you sift your sugar, it will avoid any lumps. Once your butter and sugar becomes a little bit crumbly, just scrape around the bowl and at the bottom, it's very important to do so. Then you just need to add the vanilla. And just after you can add the milk. You could use vanilla paste instead of, it's a way nicer, but half a teaspoon for this recipe, it's nice. Mix for another minute or two. I would say a minute first and then scrape the side of the bowl again. As you can see, everything is done at low speed. We want something that it's creamy and not too aerated. So it's getting nice and smooth. Scrape the side of the bowl. Make sure there's no lumps. When it's done, just uh, transfer your buttercream into another bowl if you are going to use it straight away. If you're not using straight away, put it in a bowl still and uh, cover it with plastic wrap or put it in a container. You can keep it in the fridge for up to five days. You can also put it in a freezer for up to three months. Uh, you can color it now if you wish to or you can use it as it is. It's just perfect. Hey everybody, how good was this recipe? Just nice and easy. As I said before, that buttercream is kind of light and slightly aerated. Just, you can keep it in the fridge for up to five days, cover, keep it in the freezer for up to three months, no problem. Just make sure when, when you melt it or reheated it or just soften it, try to leave it on the bench. It's way easier than putting it in the microwave and making some mistakes. In regards to if it's too much heat or you see your buttercream getting a little bit grainy, just maybe I had a little bit more icing sugar that will help to get that consistency that's very, very smooth. I prefer using gel uh, coloring and the powder coloring that's just water-based. So for more information about all the utensils I use for this recipe, they're all inside the description and you will find the links that take you directly to my website to get you the full printable recipe where you can even change the amount for the amount of people you have 
and you want to serve. So thank you for watching and see you for our next recipe, building the naked cake.